So today I'm going to talk to you about my love of books. Here you can see a few of my favourites and it's probably no surprise to you that they are art books. I take lots of inspiration by looking through these art books uh, which I can use in my own artwork. My favourite of all time is um, a book that documents the last 10 years of my favourite artist's life. So this book is Frida Kahlo's diary. There's 170 pages that tells us so many secrets about this phenomenal woman, Frida Kahlo. It's published in its entirety and features illustrations and journal documents over the last 10 years. She had a turbulent life. She, she has revealed within her diary lots of passionate and surprising uh, records that were actually um, kept secret under lock and key for the last 40 years by the Mexican um, government. So you can imagine uh, my excitement when I bought this book and I could learn so much about her, how she was feeling, her dreams, uh, and there's many poems. But what I love most is how she uses art to support her mental health. So the artwork that's, that's in here, it's very much responsive to how she was feeling at the time. You know, these, these artworks, they don't look like photographs. They, they document and support, you know, what she's going through in her life. If you're not really sure about uh, who Frida Kahlo was, and she was a, a Mexican artist and she was working um, between the years of 1907 through to 1954. She's regarded as one of the most significant artists of the 20th century. And if I could ask you to do one thing uh, to support your well-being, it is something like picking up a book, doing something that you enjoy, expressing yourself through art. And um, some of these books are my recommendations to you. And thank you very much for your time.